FXP. Thought I'd do a one of these green screen videos on the ICOM 7300. As you know, it's a fantastic radio, HF and six meters. Has a, an amazing band scope. Just turn it up this morning. Uh, in the UK, it's 7:45 a.m. We've just had a contact with Delta Charlie 5 Victor Uniform. Uh, I think he's in the middle of a contact now. All the uh, digital modes going well there. So you can see that the uh, the scope works very well. So it's picking up some local QRM there. Now I'll get the power down to uh, 10 watts, or no, I'll go down to, to one. But um, it's a 100 watt radio. We'll hold down the, uh, the, we'll turn on the tuner by pressing this button here. See it come on there, and then we'll hold it down. And there you are, it's tuned fine. Okay, so I can't promise to remember every button, but I'll uh, just go through quickly. So you've got power, transmit here, tuner, box, BK in. You've got a headphone jack here, a microphone connector. Um, just as we do it, I'll, I'll sort of show you round the radio. There you go. It's uh, it's quite. It's I would say if I put my hand there, it's almost it is a base station radio, but it's almost it could be portable. Quite a nice fan on the back there, and then your jacks. I've got a video of all the jacks, but you've got the main things. You know, tuner connector, PL two five nine, usual Yesu jack. And you've got your keyers and amplifier connections, and on this it's like a print the it's a USB sort of printer type socket there on the back. Not the light, not the lightest here at the moment. Okay, so let's just come round. So you get a real good. 360 degree view of it. Now, see if we can lift it up without dropping it. There you go. So, you've got the uh, stand, the sort of built in stand there. So, I don't know really why they didn't include one like that on the 705. So on the stand it looks and like that. You can quite easily lift it with one hand. As you know it's an SDR radio. Okay, let's keep it at this angle for a bit. Don't go here, otherwise it's not on the green screen. So, uh, these are your noise, that's your noise blanker there, which all of this works well, and it's all adjustable. When you hold it in, you can uh, then adjust it using the multi knob. There you go, that's the uh, noise blank level, and you've got some other adjustments here. 
for depth and width. Uh, then the noise reduction, which is probably the one I use the most. Turn it up a bit. Um, notch. Again, hold it in. You've got this adjustment here. Preamp, which does work very well. Just here on the top left. Now these are all front touching buttons, uh, which you don't get on the, uh, the 705. SD card here. That's, there you go. And we use that for uh, backing up and firmware. I think I loaded my picture on there. So it boots up with my picture. We might give a call out in a sec, see if this station gets us. Have a look. I'm just going to check my uh, daughter hasn't turned on her LED lights. One sec. Okay, no worries. Let's hold in the filter here. That's your default. So look, if you go like that, push it once, turn to the left. They are. So it's the preamp being on that brought in all the all the noise. So you, if you tap the middle here. Pretty good, eh? Good conditions today. Now you can fine tune it by just tapping on the naught, and the other thing you can do is you can hold down the naught, and then look, you get three figures then. So you really can fine tune it, and that helps with digi modes. There you go. So got the uh, the locals rag chewing this morning as usual. Always listen to them in the morning. Then if we tap. Again, the middle, you get a wider, you know, step. Okay. So, obviously, here's the volume, and behind that, you've got the RF, the RF gain, which I use quite a lot. I tend to just set it there. You know, about 10 to 12. Um, so, if you want to change mode, you just tap here. Choose your mode. If you choose RTTY, like I have there, and then you go menu, you can then hit decode. And that takes you into the decode menu. And obviously you have to be on the RTTY section of the band. And I've got to remember how to get out of that now. So we'll hit LSB. There you are. Okay, so we've got filter as well. You can tap on the filter three times. And if you can hold your finger on it. And look, you get this second filter menu. It's very good. Works very well. Okay. You can um, hit go menu. Hit meter. And then you get your meter. Now, if you want just a meter, I think you just push M scope here. Um, and then if you want both, there you go. And you have to go, I think you have to go back and push meter. And, and other things, you can select to go menu, you can go audio, and then you get this lovely, funky audio scope. This is basically here, where you, you know, where you are.
I mean, the dial knob is just lovely. It just feels good. So you've got a quick menu here. At the moment, just does that. But I'm sure when they do the firmware update, it will do more. We hold it in. Yeah, it's not really doing much, is it? Meter type. Um, expand your scope and minimize, and you can hold that down, and then you can get all your scope adjustments. Look, that was hold down the EXP do stroke set. Now time, can't remember that one actually. Oh, look, it changes what the scope, what this um, audio wave does. Uh, level, let's hit that. Oh yeah, that's quite good. So yeah, more functions. Um, X. FC, and I, I think, is that the input button? Pretty sure you hit that, and then when you're split, so if you go split, we'll split now, and then you hit that, yeah, look, watch. So, uh, split frequency, you can use that to set up a FM 6 meter repeater on this radio. And I haven't really used 4 meters, so I'm guessing you can do the same there. So look, so when the, when the split's on, you push that, and it shows you the input and the shift there. These up and down arrows are more of a toggling through menus, uh, sorry, memory um, storage. So if we go v, v and then M here, go to memory. I don't know if I've got any memory stored in here, because I keep resetting it. Oh, there are some, look, we can scroll through. And look, if we go to a certain point, we can actually add one. Uh, I haven't done one for a while, but I'm pretty sure to add memories you go, let me just go back, tap, now I've got to remember, but it's menu, you've got memories here, you've got a memory pad, I've used memory pad, uh, where you say you like this one, you push memory pad and hold it, it beeps twice, when you go menu, memory pad, there it is, and then you can select any one, and you can scroll down, look, so, And then if you want to store it, I've just got to remember how to store these things. I've, I have done a video on storing memories, honestly. Memory. On the 705, you just tap it here, but... No, I'm not going to remember now. Too many radios. Um, what have we got here then? So then you're... Let's just do the scope full. RIT adjustment, so tap RIT here and then you turn the multi knob. That's once for receive, one for transmit. Clear, split, A and B, we know what that is. Get it into a. Uh... There you go, A, B, A, B. Now there is band stacking on these. If you tap here, I think. I'm trying to remember band stacking. So each time you tap, say we're on 80 meters now, you tap it again, and then do that again. I think it gives you three lots. So I'm just trying to remember as much as I can. And you've got the speech button here. Five, three point seven zero nine megahertz. Pretty good. Uh, auto tune, I think that's more for the digi modes or CW that one. So there's obviously loads more to this radio, and look, you've got a whole sub menu here. You've got your preamp, all your filters and noise reduction and all that kind of stuff here, and it it works excellent on FT8. So, I'll just give you one more 360 view of it, and then I'll put it on YouTube. Okay, M0FXB73, catch you on air. M0FXB, thought I'd do a, one of these green screen videos on the ICOM 7300. 
As you know, it's a fantastic radio. HF and 6 meters has a, an amazing band scope. Just turn it up this morning. Uh, in the UK, it's 7.45 a.m. We've just had a contact with Delta.